Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. And now it's summertime around most parts of the world. So I was thinking, why not get a beer that sounds like it will cool me down? And with that, I'm opting for the Harbin Ice. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification, which includes a course on beers to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. As mentioned, I'm going to touch on a beer that just looks so cooling and refreshing. The Harbing Ice. So the Chinese words here at the top is Harbing, Harbing being a place in China. And the, the words below here, Ping Chun, is like pure ice. And I picked up this can again simply because it's really, really warm these days. I'm back to wearing you know sleeveless tops for my reviews. Um, even though I'm in an aircon room. So I figured this is a very refreshing looking can. And I managed to pick this up too for 550 Singapore dollars. That's a steal. Two for 550 Singapore dollars. So that makes each can two dollars and seventy-five cents. What? Now for that price, now this is a 500 ml can uh, with this is interesting greater than or equal to 3.6% alcohol. But I'll take cheap beer when it comes. So one thing about Harping, right, is that, you know, it's it's this place that's really famous for their ice sculptures. You always see, you know, some ice sculpting competitions because they got really, really cold temperatures. So I'm hoping the beer cools me down just as much. And another interesting feature is this opening mechanism it's actually a ring tab i haven't actually seen this for a while well actually i have uh, it's all the ch other china beers that i've been reviewing it's such a classic thing anyway let's check out the color and scent so the glass is not a 500 ml glass this is actually a 400 ml glass so i can't pour out a full can uh, but even so i can tell you now this is a very pale colored beer. It, it's just very light yellow. It's, I can't even say it's golden, it's just a very pale yellow beer. So I fully trust the greater than or equals to 3.6% alcohol content. Sense wise, I can't actually smell, or smell much of the beer. There's a hint of a beer smell in this glass. It's a very full glass mind you, but there's just a very hint of a beer smell. To give you a better context of what it smells like, it's like you just drank a, a, a whole glass of beer and you, this is like the smell in that empty glass of beer. But let's see if the taste can help to redeem the scent. So, taste test. And well, this beer definitely cools me down. But that's only because it's a very cold beer. Let me rephrase that. That's because it's a very cold drink. I took this out of the fridge and started the review. So that's why this is a very nicely chilled drink. But this is not something I can actually say it's a beer. It's a very, very light beer. Well, well I can. It's a very light beer. There's a hint of a beer taste. In fact, it's slightly sweet now that, now that I'm letting it settle on my tongue. Slightly sweet, but barely a hint of flavor of beer. It's so light to the point where I feel I've wasted 550 Singapore dollars on two cans of this. So I can give you a very clear conclusion, or, or rather my opinion, is that in general, if you come across a China beer that's less than 4%, or they're very accurate to the point where they say, hey, it's about 3.6%, don't buy it. Get something else, steer clear, you are going to regret this. Hey, thanks for watching. Up to this point, I hope you enjoyed this review. Now, whether you're a new viewer or you know, you're a returning viewer, uh, do help me click on the like button do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm surprised you haven't. 
uh, subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell so that you know you'll be informed when I upload new videos twice a week. More importantly, drop me some comments. Have you come across a pleasant China beer where the alcohol content is below 4%? In the meantime, um, happy drinking.